This is a new phase, game change Flying by in real time, catching the deep wave at the right pace Seeing your bright eyes Alright, this is the first for me! I've literally never vlogged in the rain before But today we are on our way to visit our next player, our next guest and I wanted to be clear, come clean with you guys because we've hit our first COVID roadblock. This morning I was supposed to come to go to their training and film them working out, but because of COVID, they had too many people in the gym and it was gonna be a bit tight and they were a bit nervous about having me in there with all my germs. Thought I should just tell you guys, I was expecting this, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting to have these kind of barriers, obstacles, and there you go, first one. But nevertheless, we're still on the way to her apartment, so let's go check out where she lives and meet our first First guest, third guest. Yes. Hey, this is where we grow. This is our revelation. I must be getting close. One and two. Hi, my name is Mikhail White. Um, welcome to my crib. <laughs> uh, this is our temporary home. Um, we live in the center right in Cannes. We had a little birthday celebration. My birthday was this past Sunday and I turned 24. And then our teammate, Lulu, turned 28. This is our kitchen, kind of kitchen living room area. Not a lot of cooking goes on. <laughs> Not a big cook. I like to pop things in the microwave. <laughs> We do not have dryers here, so I'm learning the whole drying outside situation. <laughs> learning as I'm going. Also, my team got me these flowers for my birthday. I've never really gotten like a bouquet of flowers, so it was like really cute. Mm -hmm. um, if we go back here, one bathroom, and then this is my humble bow. Um, Cause we're not living here, uh, all my stuff is still kind of in bags. Um, I didn't want to like unpack everything because we're going to be moving out of here in a couple days. And the Sephora is actually gifts I got for my birthday from the team and then a photographer who takes pictures at our game. So it was really nice. Everyone is here? Yeah. So like we have the coaches, two girls over there, a girl over there, a manager over here. Hey Anna! <laughs> <laughs> and then we have two girls that live right below. So like everyone kind of walks out in the morning and it's like it's like the Brady Bunch, like, hey, how are you? <laughs> it's a little lemon. Wait, there's a lemon. Well, barely, I don't know. <laughs> you see oh, better days. Yeah, wow, we did not know that. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> I'm just gonna go break into my place real quick. <laughs> bye, thank you so much. No problem, bye. It was really fun. <laughs> As it turns out, this is not their apartment where they're gonna be living permanently, so there wasn't really that much to see, but nevertheless, such a sweetheart for showing me around and got locked out on her way out, so I had to break in to get back into her own apartment, which was quite cute. But we'll get her on the podcast a little bit later and we will chat all about life as a first year professional. And now I'm walking upstairs and I'm obviously out of breath because I am no longer a pro. Need to practice. <laughs> So cool Got everyone mesmerized High school dude. Okay, first of all, if any of that B-roll looked very familiar, it's because Le Canet and Cannes are literally two minutes from each other. So the girls from Le Canet live right next to the gym for Cannes, and the girls from Cannes live right next to where my Airbnb is, so there's been a lot of back and forth this week. But anyway, let's go inside and uh, check out what the girls are up to. Side note, that car's loud. <laughs> Side note, Cannes also has a men's volleyball team, so and why wow, you'll see red dragons all over the women's and men's volleyball gym. Cool. This here 
just snuck away for a minute from the training for the girls, but since you guys didn't get to see where they work out, I found their gym. It's in a cage, but it looks like it has everything they need. I feel like it reminds me almost of my freshman, redshirt freshman year of like basically learning again, a whole new system, a whole new way of coaching and yeah. just trying to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. So I like that phrase, getting comfortable with being uncomfortable. My I feel like that's says like, that all the time. Okay. So like, he's, he's so, so wise. He's so wise. <laughs>